did a great job of it today. Well, I see a lot of married people out here today. Yes. How many people are married? How long are you married? No, everybody has that. How long are you married? Take your shoes off. You can count. Huh? Eleven years. Anybody uh, married longer than that? Nobody. I've been married this October. Oh, how many years? Forty-three. Forty-three. That's fantastic. Wow. Not to knock you down, but this October I'll be celebrating sixty-four years of marriage. We gotta add them up. I've been married three times. Hey, everybody needs a hobby. Come on. Anyway, my first wife, I guess I should, very young, I was 22 when I got married the first time. And uh, a week before our marriage, my future bride went to the doctor. I called her up that night and I said, How did how'd you make out the doctor? She says, Well, he sent him anemic and uh, he gave me some iron pills. I told him I was constipated. So he gave me this bottle of suppositories, but there's no instructions. Do I swallow them or chew them? Chew them. I said, boy, if I tell them where to stick them, we're going to have a big fight. So I said, swallow them whole. They'll get down here eventually. She was never a great cook. Never. One night, she decided she was going to make a beef stew. And we're all sitting around the table, and she served it. And it was terrible. I mean, the kids and myself, we got through it. But we gave some to the dog. So the dog ate a little of it, and he walked away, sat down, started to lick his butt. My wife says, why are you doing that? I said, he wants to get the taste of the beef stew out of his mouth. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you had the same recipe. Uh, that's good. Uh, um, my second wife, I guess I should never have married her. It was one of these things, it was, I think, an urge to help me get out of my first marriage. But uh, she always said she was psychic. And I don't believe it. She was so psychic, she didn't know that this marriage was never going to work. But it was a great sexual relationship. Then comes the expression, how do you ruin a great successful sexual relationship? Keep teeth. Uh, marry. <laughs> well, this was going on. We had a good couple of good years. And all of a sudden, every time I went to make love, she'd say, oh, I got a headache. I need a cup of bear. I got a headache. I need a cup of bear. I got a headache. I need a couple of bear. And one night I was really horny and I started trying to work up and she says, oh, I got the ache, I need a couple of bear. Somebody's phone's ringing. Shame on you. And I said, don't you get it, I'll get them for you. So I went into the bathroom, got the bear aspirin bottle, ripped the label off, wrapped it around my dick, walked in and I said, swallow this, we'll get rid of two aches at once. <laughs> As I say, that was my second marriage. And um, my third and last marriage. Pardon? That's my second, what did I say? Second. That, is my, that was my second. I'm on my third. I know how to count. Uh, uh, that's the best thing that ever happened to me, this young lady. And uh, this I've told me 34 years that we're married. Yeah, so that's great, isn't it? She's a little younger than myself. She's three years older than my son. Oops, uh, one night, one buddy said, how old's your son? I said, nine. <laughs> uh, when I proposed to her, I got on my hands and knees, and I put my hand out, I held her, I said, I love you more than anything in the world. I want us to grow old together. And she looked at me, she said, it's too late. <laughs> but anyway, on our wedding day, yeah, I promised her 50 years. And she said, if I died before that, she'd kill me. <laughs> but I'm going on, I've got, what, 30s? I've got 17 more years till free agency. <laughs> and if I'm lucky, she'll pick up my option. <laughs> Uh, we, do, we do get along very, very well. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, no, actually it was last month, she complained that her phone died. I said, all right, I'll get you now. She said, I don't want you to get the piece of crap you always get me. I want those little 4G phones. 
I misunderstood her. I thought she said orgy phone. Uh-uh. And I got a one of these. I'm <laughs> good. <laughs> and she loves it. When I leave the house, she'll call me and say, call me back in 10 minutes. Just let it ring. Just let it ring. <laughs> But we do have a very good relationship. With the difference of almost 22 years between us, we get along. And uh, she's very religious and I'm not. But she came up with a great line. This is just straight. She said, we're on parallel roads going to the same destination. Which works for me. But I'm not a believer. But uh, as I say, we have a great relationship in everything we do. About a month or so ago, she started calling my penis Jesus. I said, wow, is that because you worship him like your God? She says, no, I'd like to see him rise from the dead. <laughs> well, you know, I don't need to be hit in the head with a sack of hammers. I went to the doctor. I said, doc, I got this little bit of a problem. He said, oh, it's no problem. See Alice. I said, see Alice? He said, yeah, see Alice. I said, great, give me your phone number and her address. <laughs> Does she take Medicare? <laughs> he said, no, it's, it's a pill. I said, a pill, does it work? He says, guaranteed it works. I says, great. So he says, but there's a couple of bad side effects. The worst one is, if you get an erection that lasts more than four hours, call me. I said, Doc, I get an erection that lasts four hours, I'll call everybody I ever knew. <laughs> including my two ex-wives. <laughs> so, he had, he had the samples of pills. So, I took the pill, I called my wife, I said, hey honey, remember little Jesus problem? She says, yeah. I said, I got the solution, let's have a romantic evening. She says, okay, we'll have a romantic evening. So. I get home, she made a nice dinner, I pop the pill, I'm watching, watching TV, and we really start to deck like the old, when we were kids on the couch, you know, sleep a kiss here, a little squeeze, a little kiss, and well, she says, I think maybe time, I'll go up. So she went up to take a shower and put on my favorite cologne, and then I went upstairs, and I got into the shower, and I'm taking a shower, and all of a sudden I feel something, and I look down, Resurrection! He has risen! He has risen! And oh, wow, I couldn't stand. And I washed up real quick, I dried off, and then I put on her favorite cologne, and I trotted out of the bedroom to go into the bedroom. As I turned left into the bedroom, my toe caught on the doorstep, and I did a pole fall right into the headboard. My wife gave me a 5.5. <laughs> she said, I took off a half a point because I didn't stick the landing. <laughs> but anyway, I think that's going to be my time. I don't know how much time I did, but uh, you guys are great.